Hello friends! Today we're going to explore the butterfly life cycle by reading Eric Carle's The Very Hungry Caterpillar and then we're going to make a couple of crafts. We're going to make an egg on a leaf, we're going to make a caterpillar, and then we're going to turn him into a butterfly. Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle In the light of a moon a little egg lay on a leaf. Moon, leaf, egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. Pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three lumps, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Whoa, look at this. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomachache. Look at how sick he feels. Oh. Next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't little anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then, he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. So Teddy and I are going to draw a leaf for an egg to lay on. I'm going to have kind of a stem down the middle and that will connect to the tree. Okay? Okay. So Teddy, will you get a green marker and color it? Mm -hmm. Why are you going over mine? My color. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to go next to it. Around it. Well, kind of went on right here. Do you know what the next thing is? It's usually darker, so we can still see it. Mm -hmm. See? Look at this color of a leaf. Mm -hmm. Do you see all the different shades of green and yep. yellow? Yep. Yep. Bum, 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 bum. Can I add some to the bottom? Mm-hmm. Quack! Oh, no. Oh, 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 all right, there's our leaf. So next, Teddy is picking out a white pom-pom to put on the leaf. What do you think the white pom-pom is for, Ted? The egg. That's right, the egg. Okay. Do it again. Right on top of the other one. There we go. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Whose egg is that? The caterpillar. That's right. A caterpillar is going to hatch out of that. Next, we're making a caterpillar. And we're going to make a caterpillar out of an uh, empty egg carton box. So first, Teddy's going to cut. He's going to cut along this line here. Uh, hey, Mike. And then he's going to cut along the middle. So the caterpillar will be just little bumps. Go ahead, Teddy, show us some cutting skills. You really do this 
in the high school. Why in high school? Because this is a good learning skill for high school. I'm just joking. There. This is going to be the body of our caterpillar. So we've got the body. Let's look at our picture. What other things does a caterpillar need? Antennas. All right. What could we use for antennas, Teddy? Are these the antennas? Yep. Can you pick out what kind of antennas you'd like your caterpillar to have? So they're super long, Teddy. So do you want him to have two different color antennas? Yeah, and this one. So why don't we cut it in half? How? That'll be hard. You can do it. I can't. Cut right here. Yeah. Do it again. All right. Now, can you put the antenna in where that hole is? Perfect. Do you want to make another pink antenna or do you want to do the yellow one? This one. Another pink one? Okay. Yeah. Cut it down. Because look, it's much taller than that one. Uh, I really want it to be, uh, because it's going to be a grown up a butterfly when it grows up. It that's sure what, will. And we can give them pink antennas then too. Watch your fingers. Boom. And now you can put the antenna in. Perfect. You know what we can do on the bottom part, Teddy? See right here? See how they're sticking through? We can twist them together on the bottom and that will help hold them in place. Okay? And then you can kind of... Do you know what he needs? Look at... What is this caterpillar here? That's right, eyes and a mouth. Get the Elmer's glue. Alright, I'm gonna hold the eye while you squeeze the glue. Use your muscles. Superman muscle time. Alright, that's good, that's good. That's good. Mr. Caterpillar. We're gonna let his eyeballs dry. Wait, where is his mouth? Well, you pick the biggest eyes possible. So he doesn't really have room for a mouth. Wait, I can do the tiniest mouth. Let's wait and add the mouth after the eyes dry a little bit. That way they don't fall off. Okay? This, this mouth. So tiny that. You wanna glue it right here? Yeah, right here. Okay. Here, I'll put the glue on and you can put the dot on, the palm on. Mm -hmm. There you go. Do you want to name your caterpillar? The caterpillar of Zaddy Poopy. I'm sorry, I did not catch that name. Could you try again? Zaddy Little Poopy Poppy Poopy. Alright, is there anything you would like to do to decorate the rest of the caterpillar's body? Uh, do like this and and the whole way, glue it around. Right. So the nice thing with pipe cleaners is that you don't have to glue. Oh, uh, no. My nose mm. fell off because the glue is still wet. So now... Okay, look. See how you wrap the, this around, Teddy? Yeah. You gave him little legs. Do you want to wrap a pipe cleaner around each part of his body? I can't go All right. Down. So let's let this dry and then we'll come back and add more to them, okay? Okay. Alright. Yeah. 
Hi friends. Hi friends. So let's take a look behind Teddy at the butterfly life cycle. So we made a leaf on an egg and then we made a caterpillar. Next, the caterpillar will build its cocoon and when he's all done growing inside his cocoon, he will emerge as a beautiful butterfly. And so right now, Teddy and I are gonna make a butterfly. Come here, Ted, watch out. In order to make a butterfly, well, this project, there's lots of ways to do it, but we're gonna take a coffee filter and markers. And Teddy is going to, we're gonna use washable markers because they bleed real well when they're wet. And Teddy is going to fill up this coffee filter with, ice. with colors, as many colors as possible. Use your other hand to hold the coffee filter still, so it doesn't come loose from the tape, okay? One of the neat things about butterflies is they're very symmetrical. We're symmetrical. Things are the same on both sides. Keep filling up your coffee filter with color. Please. So I'm going to draw a line, down the center line. And then what I do on this side, I'm going to do on that side. So I'm going to do a big pink triangle. So I'm going to take an orange marker and color it in in between. What are you going to do next? I have more white space, so I'm going to color more. colors move and they're going to blend together. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Oh, I to spray my teeth. Yep. I think my water So, you may or may not want to spray yours. Some people might find that spraying it and waiting for it to dry is just too messy. So on my caterpillar, I'm going to show you what you can do without spraying it. If you have a clothespin, my favorite thing to do is to pinch the top and the bottom together just like this, and use a clothespin to hold it together. But at home, I don't have any clothespins. Brown pipe cleaner that I have, and I'm gonna yeah, but pinch I it tight with that. Spray, I started gonna spray yours down. Yeah, but while you keep coloring, I'm gonna show them that this is a choice too. Just like with science experiments, how you can try different things, with arts and crafts, everybody can do different things. Well, I'm hiding cell files, so I clipped that exploded. <laughs> so 
I've got the brown body. Next I have to add colorful antennas so that my butterfly will be able to find and eat things. So I'm going to take a smaller pipe cleaner and trim it and attach it. Is this okay to spray it down? If there's 100% weight on me right now, it's 100% weight on me or way more. I would do a little bit more in this area and that area. Now I have a butterfly who's ready to fly off. Trade me the marker and spray just here. How's it making all the colors blend together? Because the water makes the colors move. Look at mine! It is beautiful. Alright, so that is wet enough, Teddy. You can stop there. Thank you. Oh, my butterfly. Can you hold that nice and still so we can look at it? caterpillar you made and then you added your wings to it. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for showing us. Say bye. Goodbye.